right, welcome back, guys. Uh, just wanted to make a quick video here because a lot of the, a lot of news sites are reporting that none other than Michael Keaton himself is in talks to return as Batman in the upcoming Flash movie. And this is not just random news sites, you know, random rumor mill sites or anything like that. These are official reports coming from uh, like Hollywood Reporter and a lot of the official uh, threads out there. Uh, are actually reporting that this uh, is potentially going to be happening. And uh, I just wanted to give my quick thoughts on this because, I mean, obviously Michael Keaton is, especially at this point with all the backlash with, you know, people, it's a 50-50 split if you liked Ben Affleck's Batman. And then now with the Robert, Robert Pattinson Batman, to which we haven't seen anything of, but also because of people who haven't seen Robert Pattinson anything other than Twilight, obviously when he was announced, there was, again, a 50-50 split of people who have seen Robert Pattinson and know that he's a tremendous actor, and then the other 50% of people who just know him as Edward Cullen from Twilight, thus there's backlash, right? So thankfully, though, I will say there seems to be somehow less backlash over Robert Pattinson than there was over Ben Affleck, um, which I just find kind of interesting because, uh, I don't know. Let's, let's stick to this, though. So what, what do I think about... Uh, Michael Keaton returning as Batman. I think, for, first off, for the Flash movie, it's, it's probably a good idea. Um, because they were obviously going to be doing like a Flashpoint kind of scenario. That's been the been the idea behind the whole Flash movie since, you know, kind of its inception over the last, I don't know, five years. Like we talked about before in another video, this movie was supposed to come out, I think in 2018 was the initial release date for the Flash movie, and it's just been in development hell ever since. Um, so I think... A, like a lot of sites and a lot of, you know, these sources are reporting that, you know, Michael Keaton's return will kind of breathe some new life and some much needed, like, positive vibes, we'll say, into the DCEU because it's been kind of a split decision uh, between, you know, half the critics love the DCEU movies, half the critics hate them, and then half the fans hate them, and half the fans love them. So I think looking back on it, history and nostalgia-wise, more than 80 to 90 percent of everybody probably loves Michael Keaton as Batman. So to see him come back as Batman in some facet is going to be good. And I think uh, it would be good for the, the life of the DCEU, too, um, depending on what they do with him. I mean, he might pop in and it might be a, a, as short and quick of a scene as it is with uh, like the nightmare scene in Batman versus Superman, for instance. Um, now, some of these reports are indicating that. Um, like you see right here, that he is going to be maybe up for uh, recurring in multiple films. And we're talking about Michael Keaton's Batman here. Like, he might be a Nick Fury-esque type of character going forward in the DCEU. And that's interesting, but really is contingent on how he is used in this movie, obviously. Um, so if, like, uh, if the flashpoint that occurs in the, the movie merges universes then i mean yeah obviously then that could be a thing but i mean typically when the flashpoint occurs when they've done it any other time the flash kind of visits a, a multiverse and then the ramifications that occur based on what he like changes in like the past or present affect his original timeline so they haven't necessarily there's been other other depictions of it and everything but they they don't typically just have a uh, aside from Crisis, they haven't really had anything where it merges all the universes to one, right? Um, so it'd be kind of weird and interesting to see how, how they're going to pull that off. Um, I mean, in the end, I think it's exciting that Michael Keaton's coming back because I'll, I'll, I'll watch Michael Keaton in anything. So to see him come back and play Batman after so long would, is pretty cool. Um, even if it is just for like a multiverse thing, that's still cool. But I'll tell you what I would, would like... Uh, even more so than him just coming back as like Batman in some facet. I've always thought that if you're going to bring someone like Michael Keaton back to play Batman, the reason you bring him back to play Bruce Wayne, the only reason, well, not the only reason, but the only reason to me is if you're going to do this. All right. If you're going to have Harry McGinnis be the Batman underneath the tutelage of a older Bruce Wayne, then obviously Michael Keaton is the choice. 
is perfect. It's absolutely perfect. In this situation, absolutely perfect. So if they were to do this, if they go to this Flashpoint multiverse where Michael Keaton's Batman exists, and now, it's a, so we're going to obviously say this is a 1989 Batman, that universe, right? So they go there, and after all this time has passed, he's old, he's retired, and he has Terry McGinnis as Batman with him doing all the physical stuff, doing all the running around, and he's, he's the, you know, the man in the tower. He's Overwatch for Terry McGinnis, right? That's what I would personally like to see, because I, unlike a lot of people, absolutely love Batman Beyond, and I do think it would absolutely work in a live-action setting, um, especially if you have someone with enough gravitas and enough, you know, just fan support alone to see Michael Keaton back as Bruce Wayne. They would absolutely, like, that sort of... uh like actor in in the role of an older aged Bruce Wayne who's not actually going to be Batman anymore but everyone's familiar with Keaton as Batman is kind of the perfect way to introduce a lesser known Batman character like Terry McGinnis because you and I may know who Terry McGinnis is but to most of the world the only Batman is Bruce Wayne right so if you were going to just do a Batman Beyond movie with I don't know just out of kind of nowhere then having someone return to the role of Bruce Wayne is going to be much better than just having some random new actor who has not played Batman in the past come in and play Bruce Wayne. You know what I mean? So I'm kind of, in the back of my mind, as cool as it is just to have Michael Keaton back as Batman, if this does end up being true, I hope it's because they're going to introduce Terry McGinnis as Batman. So that's kind of where my headspace is at with it. Let me know what you guys think. If you'd rather him just come back and be like an older Batman, I don't know how that would necessarily work because Michael Keaton's like they, they had Ben Affleck's Batman be an older kind of Batman, but Michael Keaton doesn't have really the physical stature of a Ben Affleck. And uh, he's, he is a little bit older than Ben Affleck. So I think it, it'd be a very different kind of older Batman than like the Ben Affleck Batman, obviously. So it would be kind of weird for him just to be still, you know, prowling over the rooftops, taking down bad guys at his age. Not that he couldn't do it, but I don't know. It'd just be kind of more, it'd be more unbelievable than him having some underlings doing it like a Terry McGinnis. You know what I mean? Um, but that being said, the only other thing I find kind of interesting, and this is not, th these rumors are not, these, I would chalk these up to be more or less just rumors, but coincidentally, in light of the talks of Michael Keaton coming back to be playing Batman again, there's been other rumors from lesser known uh, publications, um, so n none of your major trades like The Hollywood Reporter or anything like that are reporting on this as of right now, uh, by the time this video comes out, perhaps they will be, but there's also rumors going out that Jeffrey Dean Morgan's Thomas Wayne might also be set to be, uh, be set to be a he's set to appear in the Flashpoint movie as well. And this one is kind of, in some ways, could just be very, very easily be a spaghetti on the wall situation because uh, this, this story here even quotes uh, the previous uh, interviews that have had occurred with Zach and with Jeffrey Dean Morgan on him um, potentially returning and actually being the Thomas Wayne Flashpoint Batman in that those talks had indeed happened in the past. So like Zack Schneider at one point, he, he did have plans in some capacity to have Jeffrey Dean Morgan portray the Thomas Wayne Batman, whether it was just going to be another, you know, nightmare kind of uh, scene where just, you know, quick flash forward, or if it was going to be maybe something they had tossed around with uh, the production of the Flash movie itself, maybe at some point, who knows, it's never been too uh, clear on that. And like, Jeffrey Dean Morgan had never really known exactly what it would be. He essentially has just said that uh, Zach had kind of teased the idea with him and just kind of shooting the shit and said, you know, how, how would you feel about being Batman? And he said, like, you know, obviously, like anybody with any sort of sense at all would just say, well, hell yeah, I'll be Batman. So, I mean, obviously, no one's going to turn that down by any means. So, I mean, it, it could be interesting. What what I think is more interesting about this in general is just the, if this is true, the kind of, it, it's our first look in the direction that they seem to be going with the the Flash, the Ezra Miller Flash movie and the, the whole Flashpoint aspect of it, right? 
because it's been kind of the movie's been in development for so long and we know very little about it. Like all we know is that uh, it was going to have something to do with Flashpoint. Uh, It probably wasn't going to be the exact story of Flashpoint. And I mean, that's all we really knew. And it's been, like I said, the movie was supposed to come out in like 2018. They've gone through like five different directors. So, I mean, everyone's guess has been good as mine. of just like, well, is the movie even going to come out? And, what what's going to actually happen in it at this point? Because they've been just with with DC and their movie world, they've been making so many changes that it was really up in the air on anyone in the fan world's kind of it was anyone's guess. You know, we we had no idea where it was going to go. So that that's really what I just find interesting about both of these pieces of information coming to light kind of around the same time, right? So the Michael Keaton coming back from much more reliable sources and the, the rumors of Jeffrey Dean Morgan potentially also coming back as Batman in the Flashpoint movie. So, question is, guys, what do you think about all this? Is Michael Keaton coming back exciting enough for you and you don't really, that's it, that's all you really need and you're just, you're, you're, you're on for the ride at that point? Uh, are you excited to see maybe the Jeffrey Dean Morgan, Thomas Wayne Batman if the Flashpoint universe works? Because that's the more traditional Flashpoint route, right? When Flashpoint occurs, he goes, and Thomas Wayne's Batman. Bruce Wayne died as a kid. So Thomas Wayne ends up becoming Batman. You know, we all know the story. So, I mean, that's also, that's kind of what uh, everybody assumed Flashpoint would be. And are you kind of in my camp to where if they're going to have Michael Keaton come back as Batman, do you think that means they might have uh, Terry McGinnis and Batman Beyond be introduced into this world as well? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, Check out uh, episode three of Honest and Uneducated. It just dropped uh, this morning. And also, um, no, that's it for now. I'll I'll, I'll save anything else for later. Just uh, that'll do it for me. I'm Rob Bifo. Take care.